Hello everyone, my name is Aji and welcome to Ajia Music Studio. Today's video is intended for those who are new to FL Studio and those who are heavy users of the program. See, one thing I didn't know when I started using the software is that I would become a heavy user of the program. The more I started purchasing and downloading sound kits, the more I started running out of space on my C drive. And I think FL Studio ended up taking more than 50% of the space I had on my C drive. And along with other softwares that I had on my computer, I could no longer install other softwares that I wanted without deleting some of the sound kits that I had. What I didn't know then was that there was a way that I could migrate my FL Studio data folder from my C drive to my secondary drive. And I think most computers come with about 150 gigabytes on the C drive and about 800 gigabytes on the secondary drive. So it's better to reduce the load on the main drive and put it on the secondary drive. Okay, to better understand what I'm talking about, let me show you how big my FL Studio data folder is. This includes my sound kits, projects, and image line folder. I've already migrated mine. I just want to show you how big it is now. It's about 117 gigabytes of space. And my C drive is only 150 gigabytes of space. And this is why I made this video. I just want to show you how to migrate your FL Studio user files to the secondary drive. And hopefully that will free up some space in your C drive. And I will also show you how to make sure that FL Studio loads your sound kits in your secondary drive. In order to migrate your user folder, all you need to do is go to file settings and click on the button right here and save your user folder in the D drive. It is as simple as that. And all your project will still load the same way they used to before. You won't get any warning stating that FL Studio could not locate your audio recordings or anything like that. FL Studio will take the new location as your default location and will save all your future and past projects right there. After completing the migration process, you can go ahead and delete the old files that may still be located in your document in the image line folder. Make sure that you don't disrupt the process while it's still migrating your user files. Another way would be to just copy the image line folder in the C drive in documents and paste it in the secondary drive and make that the new default location in the FL Studio file settings. And that's all you need to do in order to migrate all your user files. If you have sound kits in your secondary drive and you don't know how to make uh, FL Studio recognize those files, all you need to do would be to create a new folder. Uh, you can name it anything you want. Then click this button right here and locate the folder which contains your sound kits. Then save that as your location. Unfortunately, I don't know of any way to migrate the old keys that may be saved in your C drive without losing data in your old project. So I suggest you only do this for the new sound keys that you have. I didn't want to make this video long, so thank you for tuning in and hopefully this will help you manage your uh, FL Studio storage.